Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Project Assembly Verification Tool on the M Extension Toolbar. This will help you check your project or assembly for consistency and will help you clean it up before completion. If you use Vault or some other enterprise resource planning and management software to keep your files, then you will love this tool. The project verification tool will check the integrity of the project while the assembly tool will just work against the selected assembly. I have opened my main assembly and selected the project verification on the M extension toolbar. A window with multiple tabs will appear and will discuss each and every in detail. The first tab is the duplicate file names and it shows you all the files with the same name on the project folder. As you can see I have two sets of duplicate one with name plate and the other one it's a stainless steel M6 sheet metal nut. When we expand plate we see that I have a file plate IPT in the main folder and one with the same name in electric panel folder. With all of the results I can open, locate on disk, locate in the assembly. Let's locate them on assembly and make sure they are not the same or that one can't be used in both places. One is under the motor and the other one is a lid hinge plate. The next set of duplicate file names are actually one and the same, but for the purposes of this demonstration I've placed the sheet metal nut as standard from Content Center and another copy as custom on the working folder just to get more results on the project verification. Next tab is the duplicate part numbers. I have three sets of duplicates, the plate, the sheet metal nut and tray retainers. Because I haven't used the codify tool on the M extension toolbar to automate part number assignment, the models appear as created with default part number as description. Next tab is the unreferenced files. In here you will have all models that are not used in the main assembly, not called for. It is important that you use the project verification tool from within the main assembly. We can delete it, open or locate on disk. And because it was placed solely for the purpose of this demo, I will delete it. Lost references are in the next tab and this will show you any models with missing references. As you can see I have a drawing short plate IDW that is looking for a model short plate IPT. Because I renamed the model without using the rename function on the M extension toolbar, the drawing lost reference with its model. Let's use the locate on disk on the drawing to see if we can find the missing model. The missing model was renamed plate IPT and we need to open the drawing and point to the new part to fix its missing reference. The next tab, unknown file locations, will show you all the files that are outside of the project search path, not in the workspace or in the libraries. These files will not be found next time you open the assembly. However, you can use the resolve references to fix them next time you open the assembly. Local materials tab will show you all materials used in the project. This is a good list to review, for you can change materials from say bronze to PTFE or similar in order to keep the cost of the project down. The empty folders list will show you all the empty folders in the project with the option to delete them from within. Other Files tab will show you what other files you have in the project that you might want to delete in order to keep the project clean. I have a PDF on an isolator that I needed to model and that I forgot to remove from my project. I will use the Delete option to clean it up. The Standards list will show you all the standard Content Center components used in the project. This is useful if you want to keep your purchase list down. For example, I have used M5 by 10 and M5 by 20 hex head bolt and I want to see if I can use just one of them. Let's locate them in the assembly and see if one will fit the other. The M5 by 10 is used on the gas strut plate and I can't make it 20 because
because it will stick out too much. The M5 by 20 is used on the motor plate and I can't make it smaller because it won't reach the nut. Let's try the assembly verification tool now. It is useful when you want to release for fabrication just part of the project and you want to check its integrity. Pretty much the same tabs, duplicate file names, duplicate part numbers, lost references, unknown file location, local materials, standard, but it also contains a different tab called cost estimation. This list will show you weights and prices for components in order to estimate execution costs. On all columns you can filter, sort, as well as do a sum, a minimum, maximum, count or average. You can copy paste straight into Excel or any other program via clipboard. This concludes our presentation on the project assembly verification tool from the M-Extension toolbar.